in the past it was uh, more of a free um, opportunity to go different places now in order to obtain congenital uh, training uh, to be uh, eligible uh, for board certification in the United States you have to train here and therefore uh, obviously uh, creating the opportunity um, for individuals to have a targeted uh, visit to go work specifically with certain individuals uh, it allow you to really understand how is it that uh, different um, in units across the world uh, provide the same kind of care that we try to provide in different style and it could be an eye-opening experience I think that's very important. Congenital cardiac surgery community is, is very small in, within any one country and it's very important to foster and develop international relationships. New technologies, innovation, innovative therapies, new thoughts are developing around the world. And while you can learn these from journals, it's better to have the relationships where you can call and speak with people around the world, where you know them at meetings, where you can meet face to face. The De La Law Fellowship, in addition to helping people learn new technologies, new, new therapies, which may not be available in North America, are design, is designed to help foster this type of international relationship, which hopefully will continue for the trainee's career. The pediatric cardiac surgery is a very small specialty, but very specialized. And it makes perfect sense. In order to make a big impact, uh, collaboration between individuals, collaboration between programs, collaboration between countries uh, would be the right way forward. AATS, for example, is a perfect example of an international organization in education, in training, and in the progress of the congenital cardiac surgeons.